Welcome to my second Sumi Nagashi marbling video. Today's video, I'm going to be combining two of my favorite things to ever come out of Japan, Sumi Nagashi marbling and the Mitsubishi Delica L300 four wheel drive van. So I kind of have a little bit of a drawing going already. Uh, I've got this in like 3,500% time lapse because uh, it took me a long time to draw this and I think I recorded the video over like three or four days. Uh, I'm actually editing this footage like a month after I originally drew everything and recorded it. Uh, I kind of took a break from YouTubing and just kind of creating in general um, or at least sharing what I was creating because there was a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world and I wanted to kind of leave space for people to learn about that and take some time for myself to learn about that. I was also extremely creatively and uh, mentally drained. So I just took a little bit of time off and uh, the footage sat there. Now I'm back editing it, but it came together pretty quickly. Um, I did forget how to edit completely. So that was sort of a problem. I've been kind of spending way too much time on this video. Probably could have gotten it done a lot faster if I was familiar with how to use uh, any sort of software, but it's been a minute. This is only my third video. So anyways, you see, I'm just kind of roughing in some details. Um, I, uh, having looked at this, for like a month now after doing it, I uh, am already kind of seeing some things I'd like to do differently. For instance, these big fender flares that come out over the wheels, the wheels don't go out as far as the fender flares. So they look kind of goofy. If I was driving this car, I'd be kind of embarrassed to have uh, a wheelbase that was like several inches shorter than the wheel wells, but that's okay. Uh, another thing I kind of wish I could do differently was the front grill. It doesn't stick out far enough. It's like it's almost glued into the front of the car and it's supposed to stick out a little bit, have some flex away from the car to protect it. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, I'm inking with a high tech C. It's a very fine little pen, uh, using a ruler to get some of those trim lines nice and clean. Not afraid of using a ruler when I'm inking. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, doing some little details. Whoa, tiny, tiny exhaust. It looks like a bendy straw. It's a little too small. So another thing I'd probably change if I do it again. But uh, this is probably one of the first like finished illustrations I've completed since kind of devoting some time to learning how to draw cars in perspective. And all in all, I'd say I'm pretty proud of the end result. It looks pretty clean and polished, um, the ink drawing at least. Um, kind of did not three stages, pencils, inked over it with a light box on a nice clean piece of paper with the high tech C, then made some of the lines a little bolder with a Pilot G2. Pretty much everyone has used one of those pens in their life. And then added some thick blacks with uh, like a brush pen. And that looked pretty good. Um, I think my idea with the brush pen was once I marble it, it'll kind of contrast a little bit more and have a better range of all the values. But when I first added the ink, I was a little, little sus of how it looked. It was a bit too much. You'll see it here in a second. Once I like ink in the tires, it really just kind of like threw me off how, how bold it was. It's okay. Another weird thing you can see, there's like an extra like three or four inches of clearance on the front wheels than the back. Um, I think I was like, just like getting confused about the direction my ellipse should go for the wheel and didn't really take enough time figuring out exactly where it would lie. So that's okay though. In every sporty ad of a car ever, they like show the wheel like up on a rock or, you know, flexing all the suspension super hard. You know what I noticed? Not very many people draw the windshield wipers and I know why they are very ugly and kind of hard to draw to look well. And a lot of people that draw like sweet cars and like really stylized cars, they just completely leave off the windshield wipers. And I think I might go that route because they're pretty ugly. So you can see I'm finished inking. I'm going to start masking now. Uh, this is, you know, kind of a boring part. Um, so I'm going to skip through it. I stuck most of that masking tape to my pants before I laid it down to get some of the tackiness off so it didn't peel up the paper. And now I'm using this Peebo drawing gum with a hard rubber brush 
you basically just lay on a thick film where you want it. And then once it dries, you can roll it off. But I just used it to fill in any of the more detailed areas where it would be harder to cut a piece of tape to perfectly fit. So headlights, mirrors, the gap between the spoiler, the wheels, just to save a little bit of time. So I pretty much finished up masking this with a little Peebo drawing gum, rubber brush. And once I was finished, I was ready to set up my marbling station and get to it. Normally use dish soap as my surfactant in the water, but today I'm going to try some new oxygen liquid. Um, I've never used it before. It just it says increases wetting and flow. Let's give this a sniff. If this is actually made out of an ox's gallbladder, then this smells better than I expected. It kind of smells like. Uh, like washable markers. There's no ingredients. So I guess the ingredients is literally ox gall liquid. A little weird, but. So this, this, uh, Suminagashi I'm about to do will not be vegan. Sorry. I kind of want to drift around. That's okay. I've got like a strange 45 degree bend going on here as Torby took the chair. I think I might kick him off. Torby, time to move. So I think I might add a little more ox golf fluid to this because it's not really pushing stuff out as well as I would like it to. Torby's fighting with a neighborhood cat. I'm trying to break up a fight. Okay, so I added that, mix it up a little bit. Hi, Torb. I kind of have to make this design like bigger than the car so that it doesn't just look like a print on part of the car. Like I need it to kind of wrap all the way around. So let's start again over here. Torp, you gotta chill, dude. I'm sorry I kicked you out of your chair, but got work to do here. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Let's do one up here in this gap. And then I think I'm just gonna do one more little design on this side. And I should probably honestly just like go over a lot of these. Oh boy, that was unintended. That's okay. Oxygen fluid is great, but it's not really spreading this like I'd like it to. The ink is spreading way more. I might just blow on it a little bit. Do something like that. It's not really my intention there. I think there's some soap left over on the thing I just ran through. <laughs> it's okay. We just made like a fun looking elephant. All right, we're just gonna go for it with this. Well, this is a problem. Now it's all drifted up there. I kind of have one shot at this, so I don't want to screw it up. I 
It's just that everything is up on top here and I kind of need it to be at the bottom. All right, let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. That's gonna look sick. I've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. You can't see it, and my hands are wet, but... Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, as long as my mask's held, we'll be okay. It's gonna look pretty good. Okay, the moment of truth, the first peel. There's a lot of peel porn videos on Instagram of people peeling off the masking tape really cleanly. That's not what this is gonna be. As you can see, it pretty much took a lot of paper with it. So I was kind of sweating here because there's a lot of tape on this paper. I don't know what happened. Maybe spraying the alum fixture, uh, like, made the tape stick more than it normally does. Somewhere in the process of submerging the whole paper into the water to marble it, made this tape more sticky. I even tried heating it up to pull it off, tried the 90 degree flat peel. None of it really worked. So I either need new tape, new paper, something. We'll have to figure that out. But you can see I was getting a little nervous because there's a lot of tape on the actual van and there's also a lot of detail on the van and it's pretty much all going to get torn off. Even the drawing gum when I peeled it off took off the ink so I'm not sure what happened. I gotta do some experimenting. But here is the laughably sad and disheartened reaction from me when I had just done this. This is uh, pretty disappointing. It's pretty much ruined. It's okay. Gone over it now, but I'm not sure what to do next. I don't know if it was the paper or the tape or both. As long as my mask's held, we'll be okay. I think that this big pad of paper by Legion would be like good stuff. It's 300 GSM, hot press. So maybe I didn't let it dry enough. Like it was pretty much dry, but maybe I could have let it go a little bit longer. Probably could have stuck it to my pants or shirt more to get like some of the tackiness off before I put it down. I don't know. Um, it's a kind of a big bummer. It's like tearing all over the place. And there's like the line work is gone and the, the paper's destroyed so I can't like reapply it. So I guess I start over. Um, fun. Maybe try on a different piece of paper. I don't know. I got this to marble really well. So I'd like to do it on this again. I just don't want to have to screw it all over with the masking again. I was pretty sad then, but it's been like a month. I've gotten over it. I'm ready to figure it out. Tune in next time. I'm going to do it.